Let's learn how to upload files to OneDrive for Business. From OneDrive at the very top, you'll notice there is an Upload button, and when you select that, you get two options, Files and Folders. Files allows you to upload one or many files, and Folder would upload the folder as it is, including any subfolder structures. So both are a quick way to do a bulk move uh, of content from your desktop or from a shared network drive right into OneDrive. Let's look at both. If I choose Folder, then I find a folder on my computer, maybe my desktop, somewhere on my C drive, select that folder and choose Upload. It's going to say, hey, there's 10 files in that folder. This is going to upload all of them. Do you trust the site? Well, and of course I do. <laughs> so I'm going to choose Upload. Now, because there's 10 files, it might take a little bit of time. So I'm going to use this message up here that says uploading 11 items to track the progress and see where everything is. And now that it's finished, I can close that panel. And here's my brand new folder. And I can even check inside to make sure all those files are there. Now, any new files that you add, whether you're creating them originally in OneDrive or uploading like I just did, you'll see a little new icon off to the left-hand side of the file name. Some people call those chicken feet or eyelashes, too. So I'm going to navigate back up to my top level here, and let's take a look at the process for uploading just a few files instead of a whole folder. Once again, I'm going to choose Upload, Files, and this time I'm just going to choose a couple files and open. Okay, this should go a lot faster. Once again, I see my eyelashes here, or my chicken feet, and my two brand new files. Now, sometimes the question comes up, what happens if I try to add a file that's already there? Let's find out. If I upload that press release file one more time, I'm going to get an error message that says, hey, we noticed you already have this. Do you want to replace that file or keep both? Now, if you replace, OneDrive does have automatic version history, which we'll learn about later. So this would basically just create version 2 of that file if I choose Replace. Now if I choose Keep Both, that's going to leave the original press release alone, and it's going to rename this new press release to press release one docx So in this case, let's replace and create a second version of that file. And once again, it doesn't take too long at all. So we don't have to use the Upload button to add files to OneDrive. In fact, if you're more comfortable dragging and dropping, you can just open up your File Explorer, find the files that you want to upload, and then once again, select those files, drag right into your browser. Notice you can even drag them into a specific folder if you'd like, or just the top level. And just as if you'd use the Upload button, you'll get that Upload message. And then we can see all the files uploaded again in no time at all. So that's how we upload files, whether dragging and dropping or using that button. Later in the course, we're going to learn about syncing files for offline availability, and you'll see how you can even upload files without having to go through a browser. That concludes lesson two. Click continue to move on to lesson three.